Here are the tools that you're going to need to install the Mag Air Series 1. You're going to need a pair of side cutters. Uh, you could also use wire cutters, whatever you got. Um, that will work fine. You also need a Phillips screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, and of course, the Mag Air Series 1. Your Mag Air Series 1 comes in three pieces. The center piece is your hose adapter. Uh, the piece on the right is the uh, hose adapter ring. And the piece on the left is your mounting plate. Uh, the mounting plate does come with the four screws that you're going to need to put it together. The first step in the conversion is lowering your bed so that you can get access to all four screws. So right now we have it set so that it's about halfway uh, in the middle of the exhaust vent. Before moving any further forward, make sure that you have unplugged the machine. Next, we're going to remove the honeycomb bed. Then remove as many of these knives as you feel you need to to get into the screws with a screwdriver. I usually take out about here. Now with the knives removed, you have full access to the four screws uh, that hold the mounting plate and fan on. Using our Phillips head screwdriver, we're going to go ahead and remove all four screws. Once all four screws are out, just let the fan sit inside the box. Before you can fully remove the fan unit from the machine, you will have to clip the red and black wires. Uh, you could clip them um, from the yellow side, but if you ever wanted to use this fan for some other project or whatever, it is nice to know which one is the positive and negative. At this point, you need to address the black and red wires from the fan power source. Uh, this is beyond the scope of this video. However, I would suggest that you do trace those wires back to the control board and disconnect them completely from the machine. Now from outside the machine, remove the fan assembly. It's time to mount the Mag Air Series 1 mounting plate. So this is how it will arrive to you uh, with the four screws installed into the backing plate. Uh, you'll need to go ahead and remove those and set them aside for a moment. Now take your mounting plate and insert it back into the hole. You're going to want to orient it so that the flat face is facing the inside of the machine. Now, from inside the machine, you're going to take your four screws that you just removed from the faceplate and you're going to line them up and put them into the threaded holes. Once you've gotten them started by hand, go ahead and tighten them back up with the Phillips screwdriver. Next, you're gonna mount the other part of the Magair Series 1 to your exhaust hose. Uh, I like to leave a little bit of room here at the end, uh, which will allow the ring to still rotate and pick up the nearest magnets on the mounting plate. Finally, take your exhaust hose and attach it to the inside. You will hear a click when it attaches. 
like that. You can give it a little bit of a slight tug to make sure that it is fully seated. And as you can see from the inside, it is fully seated to the mounting plate. All that is left to do is replace the knives and honeycomb bed and start using your machine again. And there you have it, a quick and easy way to be able to disconnect your machine from the exhaust hose. The MagAir Series 1, get yours today.